Good afternoon, welcome to Grain TV. My name is Cody Bills, this is Logan Burgess. Today is February 17th, Friday, for the weekly wrap-up. Corn at the end of the week finished up seven points, soybeans up 28 and three quarters, and Chicago wheat traded down six and a quarter. Uh, soybeans seem to be the big story, up 28 and three quarters. China was in the market. Logan, can you walk us through the story? Yeah, it's, uh, Cody, well, uh, China certainly was back in the bean market this week. There was a Chinese delegation visiting the state of Iowa earlier in the week. On Wednesday, we saw 8.62 million metric tons of uh, beans put on the books for the 2012-2013 uh, marketing year. You know, that was kind of expected. When the Chinese delegation visited last year, we saw the same kind of figures come out. So it wasn't a huge shock to the market. Certainly supportive, though, of the bean market in general here. Uh, take a look through what we saw come out this morning. A few more uh, sales were put onto the books on top of that. 2.92 million metric tons uh, beans going to China once again for uh, the 2012-2013 marketing year. Uh, really pushing the market though a little bit today was a, a sale to China for the current marketing year of 173,000 metric tons. Uh, more news out from FAST this morning. South Koreans back in the corn market. Egyptians con confirming a, a wheat tender that we saw earlier in the week. So on both the corn and Chicago wheat front, it, th these figures did seem to be supportive of the futures market. You know, kind of switching gears here, Cody, we are coming into planting season. A lot of producers out there are making uh, planting intentions right now. Can you take us through what we're looking at for the new crop soybean uh, corn ratio right now? Yeah, China was in the market this week. Now they were buying a lot of new crop corn mm -hmm. and our new crop beans. Now if you look at the new crop beans divided by the new crop corn price, uh, you're going to get this ratio that we see uh, right here. Now notice we're around 2.2, but if we get up to around 2.4, that means that beans have now become competitive with corn, which means that they could actually draw a significant amount of acres out, uh, and so we have to be very or out of corn. And, right. and if they do that, you know, we're not, we may not see that 94 million acre that the USDA is projecting. You know, this is the spread that you guys are going to want to be focusing on here going into next month's planning intentions report. Yeah, certainly, Cody. Well, we'll drive a lot of planning intentions here, uh, moving toward planting. If you're a producer out there and you want to take a look at this spread, you want to chart it for yourself, visit us at grainhedge.com. We'll set you up with a demo and you can get started today. That wraps up our show here for Friday afternoon. Have a great weekend.